This woman buried her face in the stranger's cake. Then she picked up a towel and tied it around her head. The barbers all thought she was crazy, but the woman asked for help. Suddenly, a man burst into the hair salon, searching for his wife who was wearing a pair of pink sneakers. The woman dared not breathe and quietly hid her feet. Barber noticed the scars on the man's hand, so they denied it, but the man didn't believe them. He took out his wallet and asked the barber to shave his beard. Just as the man sat down, he noticed the woman with a thick face mask applied. Then he happened to catch a glimpse of her pink sneakers. Arousing suspicion, the barber attempted to intervene but was pushed aside by the man. He grabbed the woman's head, leaned in, and took a sniff. Then he wiped off the face mask from her mouth and tasted it. Yummy! The man angrily rolled up his sleeves. The woman turned her head with fear, but nothing happened. It turned out the barber had knocked out the man. When the man regained consciousness, the woman with the face mask was still sitting next to him. The man raised his fist again, but the barber stopped him. Meanwhile, the woman wiped off the mask from her face revealing she was another barber. The man realized he had been tricked and threatened the barbers to hand over his wife. At that moment, the police emerged with the wife. The man's recent actions had already constituted a crime, so they arrested the abusive husband. The wife was finally rescued. She happily embraced the barbers. This woman married a billionaire, and she no longer had to work, nor did she even need to walk. She only needed to do one thing, be displayed on the wall like a vase. Her husband worked right across from her. He even brought her different gifts every day. But even the prettiest face can become tiresome to look at. Her husband, absorbed in his work, stopped talking to her and even turned his desk back against her. He had grown tired of his wife's face, leaving the woman feeling deeply wronged. Yet she endured it for three years. But her husband no longer came to that room. The woman roared in despair, but there was no one to respond. She wanted to get down from the shelf, but it was too high and she felt scared. Gathering her courage, she gripped the shelf and let go. <coughs> Falling hard to the ground, she staggered to her feet, finally free at last. A year later, the woman owned her own cosmetic store, but she still sat on a shelf for people to admire. A little girl wanted to be just like her, but her mother refused. The woman could only offer an awkward smile. This woman opened a stranger's phone and took a selfie with an SOS signal. But her actions aroused her husband's suspicion. Angry, he pulled the woman away immediately. Their argument caught Jack's attention. And the next second, he saw the SOS signal in the photo. The couple began to search everywhere for the woman. His girlfriend Lisa took out a shirt and stuffed it into her belly. Then she pretended to be pregnant as she walked up to them. Pleading with the man to give her a seat, the husband stood up displeased. Lisa then picked up a bottle of drink and pretended to be very thirsty, intentionally spilling the drink on the woman. And Lisa quickly apologized, suggesting taking the woman to the restroom to clean up. Husband had to reluctantly agree. Waiting too long, the husband stormed into the women's restroom, while the woman inside held her breath, afraid to make a sound. Suddenly, a white figure dashed out of the restroom, and the man caught the woman who was attempting to flee. But when she turned around, the man realized she wasn't his wife after all. He wanted to teach Lisa some lessons, but he was stopped by the arriving police. He was taken away by the police. Jack comforted the brave Lisa, and the rescued wife hugged Lisa gratefully. The man publicly removed his pregnant wife's stockings for flirting. The wife smiled. She pushed her husband away. This angered the man greatly. He kept cursing at his wife and forcefully pushed her down. So wife demanded a divorce. Enraged, the man burned his wife's chest with a cigarette butt. Wife screamed in agony, only to be pushed down again by the man. Then he locked the bedroom door and angrily left the house. Their son watched his father leave, feeling afraid, and sat down on the stairs. The woman saw her son through the crack in the door. She was in too much pain to get up, but she still comforted her son that his father would come back soon. However, the man didn't return home at night. While the woman was about to give birth, she asked her son to fetch a knife from the kitchen and pass it to her through the crack in the door. Enduring excruciating pain, the woman picked up the knife and attempted to cut through the door lock. Finally, the woman successfully broke the door lock. The woman fled from home with her son. The son kept knocking on the door of the monastery, awakening the nuns. They rescued the woman. To their surprise, the next day, the man showed up and even attempted to break the glass. The woman held her son tightly. What should they do? This woman showed her wound to a stranger, seeking help. But in the next moment, her husband grabbed her arm and pulled down her sleeve, apologizing to the stranger with a friendly demeanor. Stranger was very puzzled, but he saw the woman gesturing for help again, pleading with her eyes. He stopped the man, then called the police in front of him. The next moment, the man hurled his phone to the ground, warning the stranger fiercely, then dragging the woman away. 
The stranger wanted to call the police, but found the phone damaged from being thrown. He could only watch them leave, but he jot down the license plate number. Soon police found the man, but he claimed not to know the stranger. His ID showed he was still single. They requested to search his house, but strangely, there were no traces of a woman inside. The stranger remembered the scars on the man's hands, but when the man spread his arms, there wasn't a trace. Even the phone that the man had smashed was intact as if nothing happened. The stranger couldn't believe his eyes. He opened the phone then saw a photo of the woman. What's going on? The stranger collapsed to the ground. The man placed his paralyzed wife into the bathtub. He turned on the faucet, adjusting it to cold water. Despite her anger, the wife was unable to move. Suddenly, he slipped and fell headfirst onto the wash basin, then fell to the ground. The water in the bathtub continued to rise, engulfing the wife's neck. She attempted to scream for help, but couldn't make a sound. She strained to move her toes, using them to catch onto the chain. She attempted to pull out the drain plug with all her might. The drain plug was yanked out. By this time, the water had submerged her mouth and ears. The chain unexpectedly snapped, and the drain plug popped back into place. The water level continued to rise steadily, leaving the woman unable to breathe through her nose. The woman used her fingers to grip the shower head and pulled on the hose to try to shut off the faucet. She held her breath and exerted force to move her fingers. The faucet slowly began to shift. The water was flowing too fast, and no matter how hard the woman struggled, she still got her eyes submerged until it reached the top of her head. Can the woman survive? This salesperson noticed the distress signal on the woman's feet, but her husband seemed unaware. They gently released the woman's foot and then called out to the man. He crouched down and revealed the writing on the woman's foot. The man looked at him gratefully, then grabbed the woman and cursed her. Salesperson discreetly took the wallet from the counter and slipped it into the man's pocket. The man didn't notice at all. He left the counter with the woman. As they passed the door, they triggered the alarm system. The security guard intercepted them. The man attempted to leave, but was caught by the guard, who found the new wallet in his pocket. At that moment, the salesman walked out. Man immediately asked him for help, but the salesman had security and took the man away. He was taken to the security office. Man wanted to pay for the wallet, but the salesman insisted on calling the police. Unexpected, the man burst into laughter, then he revealing his police badge. The salesman could only apologize and let the man go. However, the man discovered his wife was missing. He insisted on returning to the security office to check the surveillance footage. The salesman took advantage and escaped with the woman through the back door. Yet, as they emerged, they ran into the man who was waiting at the entrance. This woman was escaping by the rope, but in the next moment, the dragon spotted her. It breathed out a terrifying fire, turning the area behind her into a sea of flames. She could only desperately climb upward. At the last moment, the woman finally escaped the cave. You would never guess that this beggar was a beautiful bride just yesterday. She was selected to marry the prince, but he took her to a cave for the wedding ceremony. A witch greeted them and handed the woman a gold coin. She noticed that the crowd was wearing strange golden masks. The witch took out a small knife and cut both of their palms. Woman feels a bit puzzled. Then the witch joined their hands together. So the woman now shared the prince's bloodline. The crowd bowed their heads, which confused the woman even more. Then the witch instructed her to throw the gold coin into the abyss. The woman did so. Then prince picked the woman up. But as they reached the middle of the bridge, the prince stopped with an apologize. Woman opened her eyes in confusion. The next moment, the prince threw her off the bridge. The woman kept falling. Meanwhile, the dragon was awakened by the gold coin.